I'm Oge Chikose. And I'm Anne Umawado. And we'll begin the show right away, giving honor to whom honor is due. And nothing beats the honor that comes from your own people, which is exactly the case for the former vice chairman of movie producing Nigeria Unlimited, Otumba Solomon Ayodele Oladuni. Yes, so he was recently installed as the first Ashiwaju of the ancient town of Okeagwe, the headquarters of Akoko Northwest local government area of Undo State. Let's go check it out. The ancient town of Okeagwe, the headquarters of Akoko Northwest local government area of Undo State, was agog recently. The reason is not far-fetched, as the illustrious son, Otumba Solomon Ayodili Oladuni, a former vice chairman of Mobile Producing Nigeria Unlimited, is to be installed as the first Ashwaju of the community. The occasion, which attracted dignitaries from far and wide, was held at the premises of the St. George's Anglican Primary School, where they all converged for this unique occasion. They say beside every successful man, there is a woman. Mudukwe, his lovely wife, has always been by his side. And she is indeed proud that this honor is being done to her husband. His children were not also left out. First and foremost, I want to thank the God Almighty for giving us the grace to make this occasion. I really appreciate all the people coming from all over the world because this is a big, it's an, a big event which uh, every one of us are looking forward to for the past uh, few weeks because we thank God that God has made the day for us. All the four traditional rulers in the community came together and bestowed the highest chieftaincy title in the town on Otumba Oladuni in recognition of his immense contribution to the development of Akoko. This is great testament that is the father to all, right? And um, that, you know, that, that, that alone gives you a lot of comfort. It's a humbling experience. It's also a period to reflect and think of how great, you know, a man such as him, you know, is because it's touching the lives of so many other folks. And we thank God for his life, and you know, we want to continue to celebrate his life. We have been together for several years in Mobu, and our relationship has continued since then. He's a very loyal, hardworking, and somebody who loves his own environment. He has a passionate feeling for Kiyabu, and uh, I'm not surprised if he made the actual job of Kiyabu. Different traditional dances from the various quarters in the town were on display to spice up the occasion before the installation. The celebrant and wife stepped forward for the traditional rites of the chieftaincy, performed by the four kings joined by other kings as well as Chief Guy Gargillo, a British who has been resident in the town since 1963 when he was posted as the principal of a secondary school in the community attended by Otumba Ayodili Oladuni. It was then followed by the installation.
I like the surrounding area. I was not worried about no good road, no water, no light. And the boys here did all that. They did everything. They ran the school. People give me the credit, but I give it to the students of this place. And Oladuni was one of the students here. Otumbayo Odile Oladuni was installed as the Ashuaju of Okiagbe as he promised to use his position to bring development to the state. A significant turning point in the history of our land. We are having a new beginning. Indeed, the renewal of our determination to make our tomorrow in Okiagbe greater than today and bequeath a more united, progressive, prosperous, and develop society to our future generation. Also joining them is the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akiridulu, who is indeed proud of the achievements of the worthy son of the state. All of us in Ondo State see him as one of our very important son in Ondo State. So as a statesman, and we are to be here to honor a great Ondo State leader. Otumba Solomon Ayodele Oladuni was born on April 27, 1948, in Okiagbe, Akoko, in Akoko Northwest Local Government Area of Ondo State. He attended Ajua Grammar School and Ibadan Grammar School for his O and A levels. He later backed his first degree in economics from the University of Ibadan and master's in management from the California American University. He was executive vice chairman of Mobile Producing Nigeria Unlimited and the immediate past pro-chancellor of the Adikuli Ajashin University. We celebrate with him and wish him all the very best.